Hello there. So today I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on how to stop reoccurring automatic payments through PayPal. Obviously, first step, log into your PayPal account. And when you log in through desktop, I don't know if mobile is different, but we're doing this through desktop right now. Um, you're going to go up at the upper right corner of the screen. You'll see this little tab. This is your profile. My name is Daniel. You're going to have message center profile and account settings. Um, you're going to want to go to account settings. Once you're in your account settings, you're going to have a bunch of tabs on the left side of your screen, account and security, business profile, products and services. Um, you're going to want to go down to business profile specifically and click the third one down titled money, banks and cards. So once you click that, it's going to take you to this page um, and you have your bank, your, you know, which credit cards or debit cards you have linked to your PayPal. You have your banks. Uh, you can link there. You have your current man currency management on what type of currency you want. And then at the very bottom, second to the bottom, you're going to have automatic payments. Now you can actually see here that there was a payment for March 31st, 2023 of $87 through Wondershare. Now, a lot of people don't know this is that when you purchase a something through PayPal, specifically like a program or app, it usually automatically throws you in an automatic renewal process, which if you're someone like me and you're really on top of just knowing where all your expenses are going, getting a charge from something that you didn't want or maybe you only wanted the subscription to work a year. Uh, this is where you go to change that. So we have six, we, we, there's a little tab at the bottom and it says manage automatic payments. We're going to click that. And now you have a gigantic list of all the different automatic payments that are currently set up. And there's a little tab, circle tab. You can show inactive and show inactive. As you can see, I have a lot. Now, some of these automatically charge every single month. Uh, directly through my PayPal. Some of them are just linked to when I, for example, Airbnb, when I make a purchase through Airbnb, it's automatically going to use PayPal and come directly out of the account. Um, but there's a couple things on here, for example, that I don't want. And one example is Canva PT Limited. So we're going to click this. And right now I'm paying $12.99. This is a website for like layouts and like graphics and stuff. I use this to make outros on my YouTube channel. Now, I've been totally, you can see the start date was December 23rd, 2022, and the total about been $38. Now, I only wanted to use this for a month, but I completely forgot about it because that's what normally happens, and I've been charged $37. So, when you click on whatever you want to cancel, you have this big, you have the status button, and you see it's green, it says active, and then there's cancel. So, I'm just going to click this, cancel your future automatic payments to Canva Limited, cancel payments, and voila, you're done. That's it. That's how you cancel an automatic. And now it's, as you can see, it's in the show inactive tab. Um, click the little tab again. And you can do the same thing with Discord, Disney Plus, uh, anything that you so desire. This is another one active. I'm going to cancel here. Um, I use this program to convert some files to PDF really, really quickly. I don't want a dollar being taken out of my account every single month, so I'm going to cancel this same process again. Cancel automatic payments, and we are good. Now, you will also receive an email confirmation from your PayPal account to whatever email you have set up showing that you also canceled this reoccurring payment. Um, if this gets changed because PayPal has changed the way that you stop automatic payments, they seem to change it every year, which is why it's confusing to so many people, is it's never, every year they change the, how it's done and it's really annoying and even through their own website it's not really clear on how to do it so i hope this was helpful if you'd like more more tutorials let me know and i'll see what i can do peace